Congrats. Thank you. All right, Mina Haragai, one over 72. Uh, can you talk us through your round today? Uh, I think that was probably one of the top uh, rounds that, where I was really nervous. Um, but I think I handled it pretty well for the situation, so um, I'm proud of myself. Yeah, obviously you came up just a little bit short of that that top goal, but what are some of your main takeaways from this week? Um, the main takeaways are um, I really am able to handle myself out there, um, and, you know, I, I belong up there. Yeah, Beth Ann? You know, what was going through your mind at the finish when you realized that you just won a million dollars? I'm not going to lie. My stomach hurt the last couple holes <laughs> coming down. <laughs> I was really stressed out, I was, but I was really um, just focusing one shot at a time, making solid contact and just hitting good putts. Had you looked at the leaderboard to realize how kind of stacked it was there in second? I did. I looked at it um, on fifth, uh, 14, 15, um, and then... Uh, my birdie obviously helped on 16, so that's when I saw that I had a two-shot um, lead in front of uh, third. Shane? Um, on the topic of the money, I think this is right, that you're the first woman ever to win a million dollars at a tournament by finishing second place. <laughs> what, what that, I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, uh, not just for really you, cool. but for the women's game and what it says about everything. Yeah, that is really cool. I didn't, um, I didn't really think about that. So yeah. um, if this is the trend where women's golf is going, I think it's great. Um, did Minji ever feel accessible to you today, or did she feel like she was too solid? Was she off in her own stratosphere? Um, kind of here and uh, you know, pockets here and there. Ob obviously, she got off to a very hot start. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe that bogey on that par three. Um, maybe it opened a tiny little, you know, cracked open the door for me a little bit, but um, she was just super solid out there. Do you know uh, you had a 30 – shot turnaround from the last time you were here as a teenager 2007 <laughs> I didn't remember um but I did I do remember making a cut when I was a teenager yeah. so I think that was pretty cool That's um cool. talk about your uh tee balls this week off the fair uh, was that a key to your round do you think uh keeping the ball in the fairway yes I believe so I was hitting my driver really well this week I think I don't, I don't think I missed more than five fairways, maybe six. Um, so I think that definitely helped a lot this week. One more thing. I know you didn't win, but is this the highlight of your career? If so, what does this mean to you? <laughs> De uh, this is definitely top one or two um, highlights of, um, of my career. Obviously, just the uh, prize money, but uh, solo second in a major, and that's my best so far, uh, by far. So I'm really happy with it. Thanks. Staying over on your right. I mean, I saw you were showing some emotion as you were being embraced by Lizette off the 18th green. What were you, what were you feeling there at the end? Um, I think just a lot of relief and just um, having a friend, a really good friend like Lizette, um, be there for me, even if I didn't win, um, that she was just there for me and she's proud of me. And it made me really happy and emotional. <laughs> uh, Beth Ann? Yeah, I, just another kind of personal question. I noticed you and Travis off to the side of the green when it was all over. What was that exchange like? Because you two have been through... A lot together in the last four years or so yeah it was um I think it, it was just very short and brief but I think a lot of it was you know a big sigh of relief it was just like you know good job great week and you know I put my head down a little bit because I didn't um get the job done but uh still really happy with the result will you buy a house or a yacht or what, what will you do next <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah I mean maybe something like that yeah um but for sure. I'm very happy with my week. Uh, the shot in the 16, uh, 15, I'm sorry, that kind of clinched it. The, um, w was that a good angle? I think you had 106 yards in. Oh, yeah, yeah. the um, par five. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was It was um, with the downwind and how firm it was, it was a perfect sandwich for me. Um, as long as I caught it solid, I knew um, it would just skip up there, and, um, and I pulled it off. You got down immediately by two more shots, two holes in. So what were you thinking? Was it out of reach, or you just wanted to – keep it together like you said yesterday hang in there what was your thought process yeah I wanted to hang in there it's a major championship and anything can happen coming down but she was just way too solid today uh, she didn't miss many shots or putts um, so I think it was I was just really concentrating on solid contact and hitting fairways and greens and uh, giving myself a shot at second you were the uh, top American finisher does that mean anything to you with it some of the talent that's out here it definitely does. It means a lot to me, especially um, 
having played on the Solheim Cup last year, um, wanting to play again, um, it, it means a lot to me. Was, was there a particular point in the round, meaning where you pivoted trying to chase down Minji versus hang on to second place, given how much money was involved? Uh, I think just just from the get go, I, I hit you know I played number one well. I was just very nervous over my first putt, um, which is understandable. But I think I was just trying to play my own game, hope, uh, hoping or you know really trying to execute my shots and my putts. Didn't work out that way, um, but yeah, I was just trying to play my own game today. And one last question. Yeah, how many times do you think you've played Pebble Beach over the years? <laughs> Oh, people will be jealous, but I think over like 30 times. <laughs> wow. What, what's, your, what's your best score out there? Uh, I shot a 7 under 65 during the um, Callaway Invitational there. Um, it's always played during um, the tour, um, tour championship, so whenever I wasn't in that event, um, I would go play there. And I just have so many great memories at Pebble Beach, and it's my favorite place on earth, so I'm really looking forward to it next year. Thank you. All right, now we'll present the runner-up medal. Oh, yay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. Thank you so on much. Of all of us with the USJ, congratulations on your amazing play this week in the 77th U.S. Women's Open presented by Promatica. We're proud of you. Thank and you. And we'll so see you at Pebble Beach. Yes, thank you so much. That's your runner-up medal. Oops, oh, sorry. <laughs> A little tight squeeze. Yep. Congratulations. Thank well you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Mina. Thank you.